Hello and welcome to my channel. This is my first video really doing anything of this sorts except for like the tack video I did a while back, but I want to do two separate videos and show you guys just all the briars I've collected from the past year. Um, I have some that I got from Briar Fest this year, which I'm going to be showing you in this video, and then I'm going to do a separate one just showing all the ones I've collected over the past year. I've only just started getting into briars as of last year, so you're basically going to be seeing everything that I've collected thus far. Um, I just got a brand new bookshelf today that I'm going to be using to display them all on. So I'm not going to unbox them right now, but I'm just going to show you all what I've gotten. So this one from Briar Fest, this is the Celebration Horse Danny. So I got her, and I'm really happy with her. As you can see, she's really pretty. I love Appaloosas, so I was really excited. This was my first ever Briar Fest, obviously. And when I saw the Celebration Horse, I was like, well, I definitely need to get a ticket because, like, this horse alone is really pretty and worth the ticket price. So I'm pretty happy with her. And then I got a four-pack of Event Stable Mates. So I've already opened these guys, but here I've got Nouveau. So I'm just going to open the little packet here and show you. So this guy is probably, like, my least favorite out of all of them, honestly. Like, I don't dislike him. I just, I think he's really cool because I love the Pinto markings, but I just, I'm not a huge fan of, like, the blue with, like, the yellow and the orange. But I still think he's really, really pretty. So I'm going to get the other ones out. I'm going to put them down there. Then I've got... Dad on here. I also love the little bags they, they came in. I think they're really pretty. So I'm going to pull them out here. This guy was actually my second favorite of the bunch. There he is. I'm not a huge fan of the mold because I think the legs are a bit wonky, but I love the blue coloring and I love the Sabino pattern. So I'm really happy with him. He was definitely my second favorite of the bunch. And then I'm trying to figure out where my fourth one is. I'll probably find him later because I only see the third one here. This one was my favorite of the bunch. Not sure exactly how you say his name, but this is Rococo. I really like this guy because I'm a huge fan of Overos and I love his coloring. So this is him right here. I'm really, really happy with him. I think he's gorgeous. I love him. I just think he's wonderful. I'll probably find the fourth one later. I'm sure I just misplaced it somewhere. So there's those three right there. I'm just going to put them aside. Here's the fourth one. As you can see, this is going to be probably not the best quality because I don't really make videos a whole lot. But here he is, avant-garde. There you, there you can see his name focus. I like this guy more than I ended up thinking I would. I wasn't a huge fan of him when I first saw him because I was like, well, he's just a plain purple fjord. But I ended up really, really liking him. So this is him. I really like him though. I love his dorsal stripe and just the color overall is really pretty. He'll focus. There. He's really nice. I like him. And then I'm going to move on to some of the other models I got. So I ended up getting Kaleidoscope, which was one of the limited editions. There he is. I'm super happy with him. I love anything rainbow. And I just think he's gorgeous. And then for the bigger limited editions... I ended up ordering Apollo, but I got him in Glossy, so he's not going to be here till December. So, But I did end up getting the Queen of Hearts, because I just thought that this brindle pattern was gorgeous, and I think the mold is beautiful. This is my first horse on this mold, and I think she's beautiful. I'm kind of regretting not getting her in Glossy, but I think the matte version of her is just so pretty. So I'm very excited to unbox her later and display her. I just think she's beautiful. And then I got Reverence, who I wasn't entirely sure about because I wasn't a huge fan of the mold. Like, I'm not really a super big fan of Arabians, and, like, I thought the neck looked a bit wonky. 
but I really like him though because I'm a huge sucker again for overalls and I love buckskins. I did notice you can kind of see on the camera that there is a tiny little scratch here like right on his neck like some paint scratches there. I, I can definitely notice them and those kind of bug me but I mean all in all he's still pretty good quality so I'm pretty happy with him. Not a huge fan of the neck on this mold but I think he's gorgeous like I love overalls so he was definitely worth it for me. And then I got, not sure entirely how you say his name, but his name is Favril. Not sure if I'm saying that right. But I wasn't too sure about this guy, and originally I wasn't sure if I was going to get him or not, but I ended up liking him a lot more in person. So there he is. Look at those zebra stripes and that rainbow pattern. Like, he's a lot nicer in person than what I expected. I just think he's gorgeous. Like, look at those markings. Like, he's so shiny, so colorful. And he wasn't that expensive either, so I am very, very happy with him. I'm super glad I ended up getting him, because I wasn't sure if I was going to or not. Oops, don't mind me trying to position everything carefully. And then, the special ones I got. So, I got my first and my third pick. So, I'll show you my first pick right now. So, my first pick was Grand Cavallo, and I was hoping for the liver chestnut variation, because I saw they released, like, colored variations after, and I was like, oh, I hope I get the liver chestnut, and I did, which I'm super happy about, because this is the original one. I just think he's gorgeous. Like, originally, um, my third pick was actually my first pick, which I'll show you after, and I wasn't a huge fan of this guy, but then he just started growing on me, and I was like, you know, I love the Sabino pattern, like, I love the color, I love the mold, like, I need this one, and I'm super happy I got him. So, that's Grand Cavallo, I'm super happy with him. And then, my second pick was originally Pollock, because like I said, I love anything rainbow. Didn't end up getting him, though, because I think he was really popular. I'm, I'm regretting not getting the special run, though, after I saw the models that were released on it, because I've really liked... I really started liking the Dundee mold, so when I saw that was the one that was on, I was like, oh, I wish I'd gotten that. But I'd love to get some of the surprise models from this year in the future, but I'm not going to spend like $500, $600 on them. So, but I did get my third pick, though, it was this guy. I think his name is Tassili. Um, I was hoping for the original variation of this mold, and I got him. Um... Super happy with him. I love Pintos. Love the markings. Um, one thing I noticed was that like, in the pictures, like, this marking here was more on, like, the bottom lip. And this one is kind of, like, right under the nose. So that kind of bugs me a bit because it looks a bit out of place. But overall, he's really nice, though. Just super pretty. I'm very, very happy with him. So he's gorgeous, and I'm glad I got my third pick. I mean, I would have liked Pollock, but at the same time, I can't really complain too much about him. And I actually just remembered I had one more limited edition from this year, but I left him in my room, so I'll just include him in the second video. But I got a couple other smaller things as well. So I got this sticker sheet that has, like, the limited edition models and Danny on it which I think is really cool and it wasn't that expensive, so I have to find a place to put them, probably on my laptop somewhere, because my laptop is covered in stickers. And I got the event program from this year, because I thought that was really cool, it wasn't too expensive and just a nice souvenir to have. Pretty happy about that. And I just got this cheap little keychain to put on my purse, because, I mean, you can never have too many keychains, don't know if it'll focus or not, but... You can see Briar Fest Horse of a Color 2021. Totally said that backwards. And the last thing I got um, that I'll be showing in this video is this t shirt. I got the one with Danny on it. I'll try and show it. There you can see you can see her there. I really ended up liking the shirt and I was gonna I liked some of the other designs too. But I wanted one that was on a t-shirt um, and not like a tank top or three-quarter length sleeve shirt or anything because I just prefer the feel of shirts, like t-shirts. Um, and like this was like the one that I ended up liking the most. So I've worn it a few times already and it's really nice. Like I really like this shirt. So yeah, all in all, that's all I got from Briarfest. I got one more thing that I'll be showing in the next video. And then the Glossy Apollo that's not coming till December. But yeah, that's my haul from this year. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.